Hello, my comrades. This is me, Liz, and I'm here with Nani. Hello. And we are playing Romance Detective. Ooh la la. Ah la la. And what kind of game is it? It's a cute dating sim. Yeah. And it's a visual novel. But there's choices. So today, the main character is going to be played by... Meh. And I'll be helping read some of the side characters. Are you ready to become the romance detective? I am one with the game! Let's go! Oh, that hurt my throat. 10.30 a.m. Love Bloom City Art Museum. <laughs> Love Bloom. Love is the world. <laughs> I thought you were ready! <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Come on, character. you need to... Look wait, no. No, 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 you need face. to take a break. Take a break. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look at that character's face. Just look at her. <sighs> Do you feel like love is the most powerful force in love the world? Love is the most powerful force in the world. I messed up. Too late. It can drive people mad, make them do terrible things, and when they do... <laughs> I need more commitment from you. Romance detective vow to carry out romantic justice. Um, excuse me, ma'am? This is a crime scene. No civilians allowed. Don't worry, I'm a detective. A detective? In that case, may I see your badge? The rose should be proof enough. I'm gonna need to see your badge. Badges are superficial. They are unnecessary. I solve crimes of passion. I... I see... Well, I think you should leave this one to the police. Is that a problem, Chrissy? Is that how you say that? Chris? Chris, yeah. Chris, I need you gathering evidence. Oh, if it isn't the one and only romance detective, when did you get here? You know this woman, Chief? Of course, she got quite a reputation around here. Plus, we went to high school together. I had no idea. She was trying to enter a crime scene without showing her badge, so I thought... Don't worry about it. You're still new. Now what can I do for you, detective? I've come to solve this case of love. Love, huh? Then, Chris, why don't you help her out? Uh-huh. You hire me, I'm sending you to be your partner for this case. Effective. Immediately. Uh-huh. Excellent. You are now romance cop. Wait, you can't just change my title. Come, my... Saborian and subordinate <laughs> okay where are we going to investigate but we're already at the crime scene chief are you sure about this you have your orders romance cup Ch chief hurry up and brief her on the case i'm sure you two will bring that vase back in no time i'm counting on you but, but i mean just like that i guess if the chief trusts her i might as well but Right, one more thing. A rose was attached to Romance Cop's, Romance Cop's pocket. Uh, what's this rose for? It comes with the title. Oh, okay. <laughs> now then, a vase was stolen, correct? Yes, that's right. A one-of-a-kind vase. It was taken around 10 p.m. last night. The thief made it past all of the museum security measures... But for some reason, the vase was the only thing they stole. Those are the facts so far. If you'd like me to explain anything further, go ahead and ask away. Oh. Security. Was there anything on the security cameras? No. A few of them were tampered with, but there isn't anything useful we can gather from the footage. You would think a place like this would have a better system in place, right? It's unfortunate, but understandable. The city's crime rate is very low. So they didn't expect something like this would ever happen? Only stealing a single vase? What kind of motive could there, could this thief possess? The stolen vase. Tell me more about this vase. It was donated to the museum sometime last week by a local antique collector. The artist is unknown. This is what it looks like. It I magically ugly. materialize something in the middle of the air. I hope this. I think this is supposed to be a picture, like a pic. You know what I mean. 
Details, details of the of stolen, stolen base were jotted, jotted down, down in your, in your notebook. notebook. Oh, so this is them. Okay, this is the game telling us that. Okay. It isn't particularly expensive compared to the rest of the museum's collection, so we don't think the thief intended on selling it. The design is beautiful. You like it? The color is nice, but I think the heart is a little much. I don't know why anyone would steal something so gaudy. You have hearts everywhere on your uniform. It I would. think I think you slapped that on me. I think you slapped that on me. <laughs> that was a long time. That was when you first came. I'm sorry, me. who are you? This is a crime scene? Only love detective can be on the crime scene. Excuse you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, love detective? Are you here? Hello? It would make a nice centerpiece. Uh, love detective? Uh, uh did I hurt her feelings? I might have. I might have hurt her feelings. The thief. Are there any suspects? Not yet, but the thief did leave one thing behind. We think it's supposed to be a calling card, but... But? Well, see for yourself. The thief's calling card had been added to your items. Romance, thief. Love. <gasps> Is everything okay, romance detective? By the looks of it, our culprit might be a grade schooler. You can assume that it might be a trick. Is it you? Did you steal the vase? Is it you, romance detective? Not that I was serious about it in the first place, but... Their name is written in crayon, and the words are misspelled. Really, what else is there for us to gather? Something bigger might be at play. Bigger than us, bigger than the city. I think you're slightly exaggerating. Don't trust anything, romance cop. This is the work of my anniversary. Er, adversary. Adversary, after all. Adversary? Is there some kind of ongoing rivalry between you and this thief? No, this is the first I've ever heard of them. Oh, alright then. However, by using the word romance in their title, clearly they mean to challenge me. A challenge I'll gladly take. Now you're the one making assumptions. Well, that's everything I know. We've been investigating all morning, but there aren't a lot of clues to be found. This thief is pretty good. A word of the adversaries. Indeed. Do you mean adversary, detective? Sure. This detective is definitely odd. I mean, she doesn't even know how to say adversary, but insists on using the word. I'm glad she's at least taking the job seriously, though. Um, hey, before I forget, I'm sorry about earlier. I just transferred to the city, so I hadn't heard anything about you. Ouch. <laughs> No, don't apologize. I must work harder to be known worldwide. Worldwide, That way, such a thing would never happen again. Right. Well, good luck with that. Anyway, I think it's about time we take a break. There's a cafe across the street. Would you care to join me for lunch? A lunch date? I accept. I didn't mean like a date or anything. I just thought you might be hungry. Anyway, let's go. 12.20 p.m. <laughs> I love this character. Oh, He's beautiful. So who's going to be shady looking guy? I want to... Wait. You're going to ruin his voice if I give it to you. You're going to ruin the image. Of course I am. You know if I have him, I'm going to make this little bubbly, bubbly villain. Hey, you too. You're cops, right? Beautiful. Amelia Detective. However, my subordinate does happen to be a member of the police force. Please don't introduce me as your subordinate. We're supposed to be partners. Regardless, you're trying to find whoever robbed the museum last night. Am I correct? I think it's you. <laughs> In that case, I may or may not have some intel for you. Sir, if you know something about the case, because you did it, it would be best if you just went ahead and told don't us. Don't add lines and confuse the, the people. Listening. I will do whatever I want. I am a love cop. <laughs> wow, with that attitude, maybe I don't know anything after all. Have a nice day, ladies. Wait. Oh, so you are interested, hmm? Detective, we can't go around cutting deals with such a shady character. We can find the thief without his help. We should uh, hear him out. Okay, fine. You can start by telling us who you are, exactly. I am Lupin! Uh, I ruined all the Harry Potter fans. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's dead! 
Sorry for the spoils, guys. <laughs> but that's not what's important here. I need something from you, see? Um, a poster with something shoved in your face. Or... Wow! I don't like where this is going. There's a certain concert tonight that I absolutely must acquire a ticket to. If you can get one for me, I will might be willing to talk. An impossible task. Let's go, romance cop. Sorry, sir, but it looks like you're out of luck. No, see? Oh! That's exactly why I'm asking you. I know you've got connections. I don't know what you're talking about. Please stop following us. But I can help you. I swear I saw them. I saw them last night. The thief just gave me a ticket to Canary's, Canary's concert, and I can tell you more. Please, I have to go to that concert. I already made all the preparations. I have to see Canary. I love her. Love. If you're such a big fan, you should have bought a ticket in advance like everyone else. They already sold out by the time I... Look, it doesn't matter. Give me a ticket and I'll tell you everything I know. Leave it to us. But, detective? You can't be serious. This is a case of love, Romance Cop, and it's our duty to solve it. My only duty is to uphold the law. Not get concert tickets for some shady fanboy. Romance Cop, we mustn't forsake this love-struck man. Even if his intentions are questionable. Enough verbal abuse! Here's my address. Bring me a ticket by 3 o'clock or the deal's off. Are you sure about this, Detective? That guy looked awfully shady. That man could hold the key to solving this case. And what if he doesn't? We'll solve it on our own. Hmm. Well, if you're that set on it, I suppose I have no choice. Besides, it's not like we have any other leads. We must find him a ticket. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll just give him mine. You're a fan? Unexpected twist. No, it's not like... I'll explain it over lunch. I'm not a shady fangirl. 1 p.m. Cafe. Donuts. How are I'm you gonna eat it with a rose? A... Uh, how do I eat a donut with a rose, you no, ask? No, I'm talking about the romance detective. Oh! How are you supposed to drink that? I think it's more just for style. Right? Right, Romance Detective? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not normally in front about this, because sometimes people can get weird when they find out you're related to a celebrity, but I knew it! I knew it! Ah! The hair. Canary is actually my cousin, and whether I try to hide it or not, we look enough alike that it usually comes up anyway. You are, you are right, Skippy McJippers. Upon closer expression, you do have the same face. Uh, no, no, she's much cuter than me. She's an idol, after all. You mustn't speak ill of yourself, romance cop. It's only the truth. I'm mature enough to admit my shortcomings. Anyway, now you know one of my secrets. Can I ask you something in return? Yes. Your rose. Do you ever take it out? Like, there was some girl that was sitting behind us that actually brought up a really good point about how you can't even eat if that thing's in your mouth. I mean, doesn't it get in the way? I had this very rose in my mouth from birth. But really? Wouldn't it have withered away by now? As long as I live in the world, the rose will never die. How romantic. Even if it doesn't really make any sense. Seems you still have much to learn, Romance Cop. You're always acting so mysterious. Of course I'd get confused. I'd understand better if you spoke more plainly every once in a while, you know? Now then, let's get going. I just hope that Lupin guy can actually help us out. Yes. 2.20 p.m. Strange Garage. Ah, oh, you're early! Welcome to my lab! Now hand over the ticket. Do you have a permit for this lab? Also, I wish you'd ask politely, but here. Concert ticket... Uh, to... At seven... Wait, no, but no, don't press anything. Press the other buttons. Gift from Romance Detective smells nice. Police radio use for contacting the chief. They stolen from the gym. We're looking for the real thing. Okay, right, so are we giving him the ticket? Can we give him like a rose? Be like, we love you. No, 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 no I'm not. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, we're giving him the ticket. Stop. <laughs> a real ticket to Canary's concert. Hmm. Excellent. Now I can. Excuse me, but it's time to hold up your end of the deal. Hmm? What? 
You said you saw the thief last night. Tell us who it is already. Oh, that. I made it all up. I just wanted to see Canary. So this was a waste of time after all. What in the world possessed you to lie to the police? My deep feelings of love. They spoke to me, though. They're telepathy. Telepathy. Wow. Yes. My, my love for Canary drove me to this. It is the path of true love, is what you seek. Lies will only serve to lead you astray. What do you know? Now that I can get her to that concert, my feelings will definitely reach her. Oh, and since you two did end up being kind enough to bring me a ticket, I guess I owe you one. You guess? My skills may actually come in handy for you. I'm a scientist, you know. Okay, that's enough. This is obstruction of justice. You're under arrest. I thought this might happen, so I've already prepared my escape. You won't see me. You won't stop me from seeing my sweet canary. Waha! A smoke bomb? Shoot, where'd he run off to? Maybe to that canary concert. Evading arrest. Is there something causing his love to grow so twisted? I think that's just the kind of person he is. You heard what he said, right? His love for canary spoke to him. He's crazy. His love spoke. I don't think he meant it, literally. His phrasing was strange. He called it telepathy. You telepathy. really shouldn't take that guy so seriously. Romance cop, you there? Chief? The race just turned up. I need you two to retrieve it. Yes, ma'am. 3.40 p.m. Love bloomery. Bloomery. Oh! Oh, the blooms! Good afternoon, sir. I'm romance cop. I mean, Officer Chris of the Love Bloom City Police. And this is my partner, um, Romance Detective. We've come for the stolen days. Is this me? Yes. You, uh, yes, I have it right here. The vase has been recovered. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Looks like the real thing. How did it end up here? I have no idea. But when I realized it was stolen, I called right away. Someone dropped it off? I think that's what must have happened, yes. But it wasn't here this morning, so someone had to have left it when I wasn't looking. The problem is, the only people who, who came in today were all regular customers. Mostly nice, older women. They would never do something like this. That is a bad stereotype. We'll need a list of names. R right, of course. Since this is an official investigation, right? I'll go do that for you. Wow. He bumbles like I do. Detective, our job was only to bring back the vase. We must find the culprit. Call back. Call back. The culprit, romance cop. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Oh, you know what? I should have expected as much. But do you really think some nice old lady would break into an art museum? We can't rule it out. I guess you're right. Oh! Whoops! Be more careful. She's already gone. Kids are so fast. I didn't even sense her presence. Well, you're not psychic. Are you? I mean, I didn't notice she was here either. Sorry for the wait. Couldn't find a pen. Anyway, here's that list for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be taking that vase back to its rightful owner. Of course. Good luck with the investigation, ladies. 8 p.m. Nowhere. We're in the void between lands and life. That was everyone on the list. And all of them had pretty solid alibis for living in the void. So I guess we're back to the void. The square one. We can't give up yet. We'll find the thief. Or rather, you won't stop until we do, huh? I'll call the chief to give her an update on our investigation. Wait, where's... Uh, I know. I know what happened. That kid just pickpocketed your thingamajiggy. I said that. Oh. My radio is missing. That's odd. When did you last have it? Mm. The chief told us to go pick it up. The chief told us to go pick up the vase. And I don't remember using it after that. Maybe I dropped it during the investigation? Let's retrace our steps then. No, I'll look for it on my own. If I can't find it, I'll just drop by the station in person. Are you sure you don't want my, you don't want my help? Yes. I appreciate the offer, but this is my own fault. I'll take care of it. 
Anyway, it's getting late. Let's call it a night. Love never rests. Yes, well, humans need to sleep to function. We'll pick up the investigation again tomorrow. I will comply this once, because we're partners. Oh! I'm promoted from subordinate? Yes, we'll meet again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, have a good night then. 10 a.m. cafe. Oh, good morning, detective. You look tired. I was out pretty late. I never found my radio. If you'd allowed me to aid your search. No, no, it's okay. The chief was pretty understanding. She gave me a new one. Listen, Romance Cop. I always remember that you can ask me for my help at any time. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind then. Sorry. The detective always acts so aloof, but it seems like she was worried about me. Why does that make me feel kind of happy? Whatever, I need to focus on the case. So what should we do about the investigation? Do you think the man at the flower shop left someone off the list he gave us? Could be. We should pay him another visit. Let's go do that then. 11 a.m. And one coffee later. Come in, romance detective. Who is this? Ah, oh, yes. Hehehe, <laughs> don't... Did you forget already? We met yesterday at the flower shop. You're the child. I am no child. I am none other than Romance Thief. So you're the one who took my radio? I searched all night for that thing. Then I got scolded for losing it. You'd better apologize and give it back. Or what? You're going to send me to my room? Hehehe. <laughs> Finders keepers loses weepers. Romance Thief, what do you want with us? You're the one who brought the vase back after I worked so hard to steal it. That's why I took your radio so I could tell you to stop getting in my way. Why are you doing all this? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. I steal it in the name of love! Oh. From your name, I assumed you stole things that had to do with love. I guess it was the other way around. Uh, well, how, how'd you get that messed up? My name's perfect, dummy. Aren't you just copying the detective? Shut up! I am the romance thief. I'll never be beaten by a detective or a cop. Good. Then you won't mind if I interrogate you. What's that mean? There are some things I need to ask you. Uh, oh, I knew that! I just didn't want to hear you the first time. I just didn't hear you the first time. Fine. It doesn't matter how many questions you ask me, because you'll never catch me anyway. Our culprit's being pretty cooperative. Let the interrogation begin, I guess. How old are you? Romance thief. You're still in grade school, aren't you? So what? So, so what? I don't have to be grown up to steal stuff. No, you shouldn't be stealing in the first place, no matter how old you are. It's as my partner says, stealing in the name of love, you must be punished. Ha! Huh, you don't scare me. I will teach you to respect the title of romance! Just don't be too hard on her, detective. She's still just a kid. Why steal the vase? Why did you steal the vase? Like I said, I steal it in the name of love. The rest is none of your business. Looks like she's not going to explain herself so easily. What are you after? What do you hope to gain from any of this? That's a secret! I think we'll need to try a different approach. One that doesn't crack his voice. Or her voice. Where are you now? Where are you right now, Romance Leaf? Duh, the music- N No, hair, I'm not telling! You heard her, Detective. Let's go to the art Don't museum. say it out loud. <laughs> she stole the vase again, and you guys still didn't get better of security. But where's our thief? Oh my gosh, she's adorable. There. Ah! What the? You won't get away. She's so, so fast. Good. Which way? I know where she's headed. Follow me. She doesn't need to breathe heavy. 12.40 p.m. Love, Bloomery. Gah! Hey, hey, slow down. You shouldn't run indoors, okay? I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I am. Um... 
Ah, oh, it's a. Oh, you're. Oh, wait. wait pause. 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 Wait. Pause. Oh my god, this girl has a crush on this guy. Oh. And that and he's she's giving him the yeah, vase. Little scamp. She's giving him the vase oh. because she's a flower person. Oh, oh you're. Oh, why are you so adorably prepubescent? Why? <laughs> Why? This is this is still a bad thing you did. You're gonna have to go to jail. But what? Juvenile. Oh, you're not going to jail. Oh, you're. Wait, what's that you're holding? Not nothing. We've got her cornered. Tish. Hold your horses, little lady. Ah. Uh. There's nowhere left for you to run. So I try hard to stop me. It's not like I'm stealing to be bad. I just wanted to to chill. <laughs> I think this is the best character I've gotten ever. Detective, you made her cry. Shut up! No, I didn't. Shame on you, Mister. You guys suck. I I am not the villain here. Then what's exactly going on here? Everyone's come running into my shop, and suddenly you make a poor little girl cry, sounding all threatening like that. You guys suck. We're sorry. Well, we're sorry, sir. She's the one who stole the vase from yesterday. Is that true, little lady? Yeah, I stole it. Twice now, because... <laughs> hey, hey, it's gonna be alright. <laughs> Cry as much as you need to. So stop being so nice to me. That's the whole reason why I'm in this. <laughs> uh, is that's, that's so? Huh? What's going on here? You two have met before? Yeah, but just the one time, I guess. <laughs> Explain yourself, romance thief. Tell us the reason you stole the vase and why you keep bringing it here. Go on now. I'd like to hear your side of the story, too. Uh, okay, I'll start from the beginning. He here it goes. One time, when I was out with my friends, you see, they all had bikes, but I just had my roller shoes. No matter how I shouted at them to wave for me, they all kept laughing and going farther and farther till I got totally lost. I didn't cry or nothing, because I'm tough. I, anyway, I ended up passing by this flower shop trying to find my way back, and that's when this guy walked out. He was so big I was scared and stood in the alley behind a trash can, but then he walked right by me and started talking to someone. But no one was there when I went to hide, so I peeked over the trash can and, well... There's a little kitty cat in a cardboard box that he was taken care of. Funny place to be taking care of a cat. I'm not allowed to have any pets at home. It was weird, wasn't it? His muscles were all so big it looked like he could throw the kitten all the way to the sun, but he didn't. He just petted it. I would never throw a kitten into the sun. Continue. While I was watching him, he got up to go back inside and I got scared he'd see me so I ducked behind to, back into my hiding spot but then I hit my elbow on the trash can and it gave me away. He didn't even get mad that I was spying on him, he just asked if I was lost and if he could help me get home. So he called my parents and waited with me till they got there. Okay, yes, he's a very nice man. What does any of that have to do with the stolen vase? Romance cop, if you can't see the answer to that, you need more training. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to do something nice for him, so I thought maybe I'd get him a prettier pot to put his flowers in, set my allowance, can't buy me something nice like that. And then, well, this is going to sound weird, but I heard a voice in my head telling me just to steal one instead. That's concerning. Very. Well, it's true, and even though I didn't end up stealing it, I got too scared to give it to him in person. So he left it somewhere, he would find it. Yeah, but then he gave it back to you guys, so I had to take it again. I still don't understand how a child was able to break into a museum on her own. And even in broad daylight this time. Yeah, I'm pretty good at sneaking around, huh? Do we... arrest her? No, don't send me to jail. I'm real sorry. I won't steal nothing ever again, I swear. We won't send you to jail, but hear this. You never commit crimes, even if it's for love. <gasps> So you stole the vase from me because you like me? I... Yeah. I'm sorry, little lady. I'm afraid I'm already spoken for. Uh, oh. Bless I. <laughs> it's okay. I never should have liked you in the first place. 
No, that's not right. Never apologize for being in love. But, but... All of this was still a little overboard, don't you think, Detective? Even so, do you understand what I've told you, Romance Thief? My name's Daisy. I don't want to be called a thief anymore. Daisy! Well, very well, Daisy. You should head home now. It's so cute that her name is a flower. Ah, uh, yes. She, she, yes. She, she liked a man who takes care of flowers. Boodoo-dooch. And if you stray from the rightful path again, my partner and I will be here to lead you back. Remember that. Okay, thanks for not taking me to jail. Jeez, detective. What's with you, acting so cool all the time? And when did I start thinking that about you anyway? Let's go, romance cop. We must report this to the chief. Oh, yes, of course. A voice in her head. Hmm? Did you say something? The scientist from yesterday, he said something about a voice in his head, too. He was kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm sure it's just a way to escape the guilt of bad decision-making. No, I think there's some sort of outside influence. And whatever it is, feeds off love. How can you tell? Instinct. There's something we need to talk about, too. Um, yes, we were just going to speak to the chief, weren't we? I'll leave that to you. Meet me back at the cafe after sunset. But we already solved the key. Be there. Detective, I still don't understand you at all. But I don't mind being your partner for a little while longer. How is this love happening? Oh. Ah, good, you're here. Yeah. Is something wrong? Nothing. Just, it's quite the nut you have there. It's to catch the one we need to talk to. You still haven't told me who that might be. Cupid. Oh, I see. And what kind of person is this Cupid? Romance cop, have you never heard of the God of Desire? Then, your friend works at some sort of brothel? Of course not. I'll have to teach you and you about Roman mythology and death later. But for now, I'll get straight to the point. We're going to find Cupid and get him to tell us what's be- behind this odd phenomenon, of course. I haven't ruled the possibility he's causing it himself. Wait, like little angel baby bow and Cupid? Bow, bow. and arrow? Bow. bow? Bow and arrow? Cupid, I need to lay off the coffee. Are you serious? I'm always serious. Right, so you've met Cupid before. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I haven't. Then then how do you know we'll even be able to find him? Because I am romance detective. No. I've never left a case unsolved. Alright. You win. Let's go find Cupid. It's good to trust in your alleys. Our search begins in the park. 6.30pm. Love Bloom Park. Is this whole city named after love? Yes. Here we are. Not a single angel baby in sight. We need to do an extensive search of the park grounds. Why are you so convinced he's here? I can feel it. In other words, you have no real reason for this wild goose chase. Cupid is no goose! (laughs) Alright, well, lead the way, detective. Even if I can't really understand any of this... Sure, you know what you're doing. Right. This way, romance cop. Hmm? Hmm? Not here. We'll try the knit way this way next. This is completely ridiculous. How long are we gonna wander around this park? I trust the detective and all, but... I just don't see the point in this. My head's starting to feel kind of foggy, too. Ugh. Aren't you coming? Sorry, I got a little caught up in my own thoughts. About the strange phenomenon? Let me hear it. No, it's nothing important. No, it's nothing important. Hey, detective, this park is really nice, don't you think? 
Hmm? Ah, yes. They seem to have planted more rose bushes since my last visit. A fine addition to this public space. They're really pretty, too. We should come back again, in the daytime. What's gotten into you, romance cop? We need to focus on their search. Right, sorry. She's right. What am I doing? I can't lose sight of our goal now. We have to find Cupid, or else the case isn't truly solved. I have is. bought into everything this psycho has taught me. What? He's beautiful! What? Can that be one of the characters we fall in love with? What? He looks like an evil uh, Cupid! Oh my god, I was right. I was right to believe in her. I should believe in the lies. I should always believe. The, the, oh no! Uh, uh, can I go back? No, it said... Can I go back? I wanna go back. I wanna go back. It just said he has wings. Look, like, that one that over bench. there, he's got wings. No, he's, uh, you said it was fake. And no. Fake. No, he's the real deer. I'm sure of it. Cover me. Cover you? What do you mean? Take this. <laughs> I've gotta do it. Ready? Gah. What are you doing? Let me go. Not until you answer our question, scoundrel. You're the scoundrel. Who the hell goes around catching people in oversized nets? I believe you lace your arrows with a certain potent toxin, am I wrong, Cupid? What in the world are you talking about? Get this net off me! Detective, you come too- Detective, oh, you've gone too far this time. You're even taking over my lines. Let the poor guy go. Sorry, romance cop, but I won't allow him to squeak. Okay, look. I promise not to run off or anything. Just get me out of this. I'm sorry about my partner's actions, sir. She's... She's the famous romance detective, I know. Just didn't expect her to use such straightforward methods of catching me. You know of me. So you're really... Yeah, I'm Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're nothing like I imagined! Everyone grows up, okay? Sure, I was a baby once, but no one stays like that forever. <laughs> you look at him a goth. <laughs> Can't believe it. Cupid, I'm sure you're aware of whatever force is, is driving the people of the city to commit crimes in the name of love. Are you the one behind this? Nope. Not me. I came here to look into it myself. So you weren't the cause? Of course not. Why would I be? My aim might not always be perfect, but it's not like I'm ever trying to be a bad guy. Then, what do you know about this case? From what I understand... There's something influencing people to be more impulsive when it comes to love. I just can't figure out the source of the problem. Hmm. That would definitely explain the romance thief incident. Then that voice in her head was... As I thought, there was another force at work. Well, let me know if you find anything. I got a feeling about this place, so I'll be sticking around all night. Thanks and sorry about before. Nah, it could have been worse. At least you didn't use an oversized jar. A uh, little smile. Next time I might consider it, the net has proven itself rather flimsy. <laughs> but seriously, don't. See you around. Oh, and good luck, you two. Huh? Did he just wink at me? What's that about? Ah, uh, he ships it. <laughs> oh my god, Cupid ships us. <laughs> Romance cop. Success. Huh? Hmm? We need to figure out what the source of the problem could be. What's influencing the people of the city? We'll regroup at my private residence. Your home? Okay. Let's go then. A. 7.30 p.m. Roma's detective's house. Here we are. It's so pink. That's my person. Sorry. Here we are. At the save screen. <laughs> <gasps>